there are two interesting properties of transition metal complexes that differentiate them from most organic compounds. Magnetism and color. Magnetic properties arise from particular arrangements of electrons. Compounds with all their electrons spin paired are said to be diamagnetic. These compounds are very weakly repelled by a magnetic field. Compounds with unpaired electrons are paramagnetic. They're attracted to magnetic fields. We measure a compound's magnetic properties by measuring something called the magnetic moment, mu. This gives us an experimental way to determine the number of unpaired electrons in a compound using the formula mu equals the square root of the quantity n times n plus 2, where n is the number of unpaired electrons. Obviously, any transition metal complex with an odd number of d electrons will necessarily be paramagnetic. But even some compounds with even numbers of electrons can be paramagnetic if the electrons occupy different orbitals. For instance, a D2 octahedral complex, like the hexaaqua vanadium 3 cation, has a D orbital splitting diagram with the typical 2 over 3 pattern, and the two D electrons occupy two degenerate orbitals like this. This compound has a magnetic moment of approximately 2.8. Some complexes of the same metal ions in identical geometries, but with different ligands, have different magnetic moments. For instance, FeF6 3 minus has a magnetic moment of about 6, while FeCn6 3 minus has a magnetic moment of just 1.7. Both of these are iron 3, D5, octahedral complexes, but their electrons populate their d orbitals differently. This is because delta octahedral is different for these two complexes. For the fluoride complex, delta octahedral is quite small. So small, in fact, that the electron-electron repulsion that you would get by pairing up that fourth electron is greater than the energetic cost of putting it in the higher energy orbital. For the cyanide complex, since delta octahedral is larger than this pairing energy, it's better for the fourth electron to pair up. We call the first complex high spin and the second low spin to reflect their different magnetic properties. A property called ligand field strength is what determines whether a particular ligand causes smaller splitting or larger splitting. Ligands are ranked by their ligand field strength according to the spectrochemical series, where those ligands on the left are called weak field ligands, and they cause small splittings, while those on the right are called strong field ligands and cause large splittings. Ligand field strength also has an impact on the color of transition metal complexes. Many transition metal complexes have intense colors because the energy gaps between the d orbitals correspond to energies of photons in the visible region of the electromagnetic spectrum. So compounds with d electrons can absorb visible light, promoting d electrons from low energy d orbitals to higher energy d orbitals. When a complex absorbs a particular wavelength of light, that means we see its complementary color. We use a color wheel to help us identify observed colors. Since ligand field strength directly impacts the energy gap between d orbitals, it also impacts the wavelengths of light that are absorbed. 